Hey guys, welcome to our video. Aircraft engines have come a long way from the first time they were used by the Wright brothers. There are two different categories of engines which are widely used in modern times, the piston engines and jet engines. In this video, we will exclusively be talking about piston engines. Piston engines were the primary mode of powering an aircraft until the very end of World War II. The first piston-powered IC engine for an aircraft was built by Charlie Taylor in 1903 for the Wright brothers. It was a simple four-cylinder inline engine. The Wright brothers calculated that for their aircraft to fly, the engine weight should not exceed 90 kgs. But there was one problem. None of the engines at that time had the power to weight ratio that they required. Because in 1903, majority of internal combustion engines were made up of iron, which was very heavy. Due to their weight, they had terrible power to weight ratio. So the Wright brothers decided to build a new engine themselves with aluminium to meet the requirements. This started the race between engine manufacturers to build better and more powerful engines for aircrafts. There are four major types of piston engines. The first one is the inline engine. Inline engines have the cylinders and the crankshaft in a single row. In aircraft, the crankshaft is located above the cylinders. This allows for the propeller to be mounted high up in the fuselage. This increases the ground clearance of the aircraft and thus allowing the designers to use much shorter landing gears. These engines were mostly used in early World War I airplanes. These engines were mostly liquid-cooled as it was difficult to cool all the cylinders by air. The second prominent engine type was the V-engine. V-engines were modified inline engines in which cylinders were arranged in two banks. The two lines of engines were normally separated by an angle of 60 to 90 degrees. The V-type engine offered much better power to weight ratio than inline engines while still occupying a relatively small volume. The radial engine was the other type of engine. These engines had one or more rows of engines located around a central crankcase. As the engine arrangement exposes a large amount of cylinder area by air, they were air-cooled evenly. This also led to a very smooth functioning of these engines because the power was balanced in all directions. This was the engine type used in the first aircraft by Air India, the Lockheed Constellation. The next type of engine is the rotary engine. This type of engine was developed by Louis Seguin in 1908 after he observed that the early radial engines had a limited range due to their heating problems. To overcome this, the rotary engines were developed. These engines have a crankcase which is fixed to the airframe. The engine cylinders were directly connected to the crankshaft and the propellers. So during propulsion, the engine also rotated along with the propellers providing much better cooling than radial engines. These engines also had excellent power to weight ratio along with excellent reliability. The downside of these engines was that the rotation of the cylinders had a gyroscopic effect on the aircraft leading to handling problems. Those are the four main types of piston engines that were used in aircraft. Well guys, that's the end of the video. If you are someone who is very interested in complex flow simulations that are involved in piston engines, definitely take a look at some of the courses that we have in our platform. I have links in the description box below. If you have any questions or comments, do let us know as well. Thank you. Bye.